<laughs> We're having too much fun over here with the Twin Doctors, uh, where we discuss what is health fact and health fiction, uh, because there's so many trends and so many TikTok videos yeah, that you'll yeah. be seeing with stuff that you shouldn't be listening to. <laughs> yeah. All lies. So this morning, per <laughs> usual, we got a lot of questions coming your way for Drs. Idris and Jamil Abdur Rahman, also known as Dr. I, Dr. J. It's good to see you both good again. Good good Thanks so much for stopping by. Okay, let's get started. I heard you tease this before we went to break. And I gotta know, true or false, you should eat more bread and pasta to lose weight and build muscle. I'm gonna say true. I'd like but it to only true, if you but... eat it the next day when those carbs change. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to Olive Garden. It's true. It's <laughs> absolutely true. So it's what they call carb cycling, right? So what you want to do on nice. days when you're going to be more active and you're going to really hit the gym, you load those carbs. Two grams per pound of body weight. What happens is your body says, carbs, let's make that sugar. Your muscle says, I'll take that sugar and build up. So you get bulkier, right? Then you do carb deprivation. Eat like half a gram of carbs per pound of body weight. That's not a lot of sugar. So then your body's like, let's burn some fat. So then you start to shred. So absolutely, let's go to Olive Garden. Let's eat some bread. Let's oh, eat some yes. pasta. Never eating yeah. bread. I know, yeah. right? Salad there, that dressing. I, uh, I drink salad. that. I, I really do like some Olive <laughs> Garden every once in a while. Me too. True or false, women are more likely to experience premature hair graying during pregnancy, and they should not dye their hair. I'm going to say true. You shouldn't dye your hair while pregnant. This is a two-part question. That's what makes it confusing, all right? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with true. So it is true that women do experience uh, premature graying of the hair. So what basically happens is the pregnancy hormone confuses your thyroid gland, your thyroid gland gets sluggish, and you get premature graying. So basically graying before 35. So that part is true. However, it is false. You don't have to avoid dyeing your hair. So this is the thing. They've actually done animal studies on non-human animals where they've bombarded them with a lot of the chemicals that you see in hair dyes. No teratogenesis, no malformations whatsoever. But to err on the safe side, we'd say wait until the first trimester, but after that, you can grow your hair. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Color your do. hair when you're pregnant, apparently. Good to yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I've been riding my Peloton a lot lately, <laughs> like every day. Oh, I'm back on the grind, girl. but we have back to know, <laughs> true or false, the best time to hop on your Peloton or do any kind of workout is right before bed. Mm. I'm going to say false. I'm going to say false as well, because I need to sleep. And that's going to jack up my energy level. Exactly. exactly. So it is, it, that is false. That is false. The best time is in the morning, between 7 and 9, when you're working, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. It's not an option for us ever. That's the best time. So when you wake up, you're fasting, right? So again, we're going back to that sugar. So your sugar levels are lower. So when you start hitting that gym, your body's going to burn some more of that fat, right? So that's the first thing. Second thing, you know, when you get done, when you get off your Peloton, you feel all jacked and you're feeling good. I do, yeah. The metabolism I'm is high. high. Yeah. <laughs> metabolism yeah. is high. And so you're going to be burning more calories throughout the day. And hey, you just feel good. So people carry those healthy habits throughout the day. You don't do that bagel thing that we just did. Yeah. You get off your Peloton. You're like, it's not worth it. You'll feel so, sluggish. Exactly. I did that in commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> she ate some bagel. Okay, <laughs> bagel I have three more office. questions. I don't want to get to all of them, so we're going to do like lightning round. Okay? Okay. okay? True or false? If you want more accurate blood pressure readings, you should not be lying down when taking them. Uh, true? No. True. No, that's false. You should be lying Ow. down. Lying down is when your blood pressure is at its highest, and that's the blood pressure you want to check. So okay. when you're lying down. Okay. Lying down. Oh, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> <True or false? laughs> Night owls are more likely to suffer from diabetes than early risers. Uh, true. I'm going to say true. That's true. Unfortunately, when you're a night owl, you have to have higher blood sugar to kind of stay active and alert. And so basically, you make a lot of adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, and it basically results in you having higher risk of diabetes. But that also improves your IQ. So you tend to be smarter and more productive when you're a night owl. So little diabetes uh, here, a little more productivity here. Okay, wait here. a minute. <laughs> take your, take Give your or take. Yeah. <laughs> True or false, eating a bowl of white rice every day is an excellent way to promote heart health and a healthy blood sugar. I'm going to say true. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Stay away from the white rice. It's no, horrible. Really? They call it refined rice. They should call it adulterated rice. It is the worst stuff on earth. It basically... Um, I heard it was eating cleaner to eat white rice no, than brown, brown rice. No, brown rice. Brown is what's clean because it's the grain that basically cleans the blood vessels, so less uh, heart disease, and you don't get the big bump in your blood sugar with the brown rice. The I white remember. rice is called refined, but that is a lie. It it's is adulterated. Right Stay away from it. Adulterated. It I call it adulterated rice. Any, any, any <laughs> white grain. Shape white bread. White, white, white bread, white pasta, white rice. Stay Fried away from rice. it. Yes. Stay Jasmine away from rice, it. basmati oh, rice. Man. Basmati is okay. It, basmati it's got more okay. grain. It's got a little bit more grain. It's that white rice that you What about yellow rice? Yeah. It's okay as well. It depends. Well, Jollof the rice. It's, that's okay. the saffron. So no, that's white. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It's just it's brown just masquerading rice. as good rice. There you go. Oh <laughs> man, yeah, I didn't I really win here rice. today. I guess. <laughs> brown rice, brown rice, rice is the way to go. I'm telling you. Thank okay. you, Ken doctors. Uh, pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to have your medical or health questions answered on our show by Dr. I and Dr. J, message them on social media at the Twin Doctors underscore. We love it. Thank you again for all your insights. Yeah. Good to see you. We'll see you next week.